Welcome to the Boxing Bookie, and we are back. Uh, last week was brutal. Uh, that was unexpected. Mauricio Ramirez, Regis Pro Gray. Um, you know, we, we hit on the other two. We, we hit on Balaam Smith and what was the other? But last week was rough, and you're going to have tough weeks. I'm going to get your money back and some this week. This is a good week to go all in on. Uh, Bam Rodriguez, Sonny Edwards. We have a spectacular fight that I'm going to show you how to make money on. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes out to you for every major fight, show you how to bring down the house, how to make money uh, on every single card. Um, we're going to get it all back this weekend. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Before we start, I do want to you know, I don't gamble. Um, I use DraftKings to show you I can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um but if you are interested in it, um, if, 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 if gambling, sports gambling is something that you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and make money each and every week and add that second source of income. You've got to do drop shipping no, no more. You don't have to do appointment setting. You can bet on boxing and win money, and I'm, I'm fitting to show you how to do it. All right, let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, Bam Rodriguez, Sonny Edwards, uh, this is a, a good fight to make money on. Um, you know, Bam, I, I just think is another level. Uh, we saw Sonny Edwards get through uh his last two fights with, with Campos and Alvarado. He got through them. Um, he struggled, he got the win. None of those guys have the power, um, all the athleticism and speed that Bam has. Uh Bam, good southpaw jab. We know Sonny Edwards is, is unconventional. He may be righty, he may be a southpaw. We we don't know. He fights out of both stances. Um, you know, um, you know, Bam's got these check hooks, these angles, he, he, and then he, you know, he presses you. He's out of the way. You can't hit him in return. Uh, and he's so fast and, and so agile. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a good counter puncher. But really what it is is his footwork and his explosiveness. Um, he can just, you know, I always said he's Manny Pacquiao and Vasil Lomachenko's love child, right? Like, that's what he is. Um, his angles, his power, he throws in barrages, right? Like, he throws in combinations. He's, he's there. He's in. He's out. Uh, we've seen he's been a little bit hittable, you know, but mostly he, we don't see him taking too many big shots. And, and Rung was like clocked him a shot in the first round, and he ate it pretty well. Um, the first round's usually he's feeling that round. Uh, if somebody's going to have any chance, he's got to steal the first round, get up on the cards. If if Bam gets cooking in the first, I mean, I I, I don't really see any. I'll, I'll show my hand a little early. I don't see – any path to victory, really, for Sonny. Look, Sonny is a, a isolated boxer. He's too willing to stand in. He's too willing to be up against the ropes, right? Like, we, we think of him as a back foot fighter, and he, and he is, and he's moving. Go go watch this fight with Alvarado. He spends so much time, and, he, and, he, and he's eager to be with his back to the ropes. He, he cannot do that with Bam. You know, Sonny's a good athlete. Bam's a better athlete. Sam's uh, Sonny's got quick feet. Sonny Edwards has quick feet. Bam has quicker feet. Right, like everything Sonny has, Bam is just better at. And obviously, Bam's the bigger puncher. He's the more gifted offensive fighter. You, you know, uh, Bam can knock him out. He can't knock Bam out. I think Sonny's got four knockouts in twenty fights. That's twenty wins. Um, you know, and you know, people are gonna make comparisons to Christian Gonzalez was a back foot fighter. Christian Gonzalez was 5'7 and long. He's four inches tall and way longer than Sonny Edwards. It's not the same thing. Uh, Gonzalez was able to disrupt the timing, right? Like he was able to, you know, make Bam miss from range, right? Like Bam couldn't get in he was, or wasn't as far in as he thought he might be and, and, and he missed some shots. And, you know, but that being said, the fight was 10 to 2, 11 to 1. It wasn't a close fight at, at all, right? Like it wasn't even close, even though, Christian Gonzalez had some moments. He had moments in that fight, like Benavides had moments with Terrence Crawford. Like, oh, okay, but he's still losing every round. Yeah, he put hands on him here and there. Um, but, I mean, he's losing every round. Um, you know, it, it, the vicious combination punching, the timing, the speed, the footwork is what make, makes Bam Rodriguez special. I, I think that whenever this fight, <clears throat> Bam, goes on, and he's, he should be on pound for pound list. Um, you know, Edwards is athletic. He's got some skills. He's a back foot fighter. Um, he doesn't set his feet. He doesn't plant. He doesn't look to hurt you. Um, he's got like quick little lead hooks. I said he can be tricky. He can fight out of you know both the conventional and southpaw stance. Um, he doesn't like pressure. You know, uh, Bam's best bet is to put as much pressure on him as possible and break him. 
Um, you know, to me, you know, he's not – Bam isn't – I mean, not Bam. Sonny's not great at controlling distance or creating distance. Um, he's not a huge volume puncher. He doesn't throw in a ton of volume. You know, he's selective with his shots. He's fairly accurate with his shots, especially when he's leading with the left hand. The left hand uh, – the right hook from the left hand stance from the south post stance. It's pretty good. Um, you see, but he, he just – you know, his identity – as a back fighter, but then he's willing to stay against the ropes and trade with with with, with no noticeable power. It's just a bad combination of things. I, I I don't think he's a bad fighter. I think he's a quite I think he's quite a good fighter. Uh, but Bam is special, and we're gonna see that today. Uh, I mean, I'd say on Saturday. Um, so let's pull up the odds. Take a look at Bam Rodriguez. Show you how to make money on this fight. Uh, 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 Sonny Jesse Bam Rodriguez and Sonny Edwards. Uh, so the odds are not bad. It's minus two ten. So a uh, hundred dollars bet uh, makes you about ninety dollars on Bam Rodriguez. So we're gonna do that in a two time bet because I, I feel this is a pretty safe bet. Uh, two hundred dollars bet on uh, uh, a two times bet. In this case, we use hundred because it's an easy number. Two hundred dollars bet. Jesse Rodriguez makes you at ninety five twenty three. All right. 95-23. Now, we, there's two things that we can do. I really like this bet. Uh, this really pays. Um, under 10.5. If Bam knocks him out in the 8th or ninth, which is what I'm kind of expecting to him to do, that pays plus 4.75. The other bet we're going to take is Jesse by decision, just to hedge, right? Because I want to make you money back this week. Uh, so... Yeah, how does Bam win this? By knockout, that pays big. I think that's what's going to hit, right? So what that would do, that would make you uh, 475 plus we'll call it 100. That's going to make you 575 if that's hit it hits. If it doesn't, no worries. We're still going to come out ahead because we're making a two times bet on Bam to win. So that's going to make us 95. We'll call it 186 minus 100. We're making eighty six dollars if Bam wins by decision, which which isn't bad, right? Because we've already hedged. You understand what I'm saying? We've already hedged. The only way this doesn't hit is if Bam wins by knockout in the twelfth. If Bam wins knockout by the twelfth, um, and you can go bet on that if you want, and you're still going to come up ahead. You want we got round betting, right? If you wanted to do that and put a little bet on that. You can hedge with that. I'm not going to do it because I'm just going to play my chances and say Bam doesn't knock him out in the twelfth. Um, but you, that, that, that's something that you could do. You could you could add that. You want to see what that would look like if you did? Make a one times bet there. You don't even have to. You can make such a small little bet on that just to cover. I, I would do a one tenth bet on that. I'm not doing that at all. But a ten times bet. Yeah, you could do that. I'll leave it there just to just to show it to you. So they take Bam to win in the twelfth. Bam to win by knockout. A uh, Bam to win by in the twelfth. Bam to win by decision, and uh, under ten and a half rounds. And you've got all bases covered, and you really can't lose. And this is what I'm saying: they don't know what they're doing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing here. I'm showing you basically as, as long as Jesse wins, and I, I hope we can all agree that he's going to win. This is how you're going to make money on it. Um, so it just depends on uh, if you're going to make a killing. Or you're just going to make a decent check. Well, you're going to, either way, bam by decision, bam on by knockout. You are covered here. You're absolutely covered here. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and make that second source of revenue on boxing. Um, it is December 11th, 2023. From Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.